what's going on? Man, I really been putting off this video on revealing this boat now that I'm done with it because it's just been one thing after another. And uh, today is another one of them things. It's torrential freaking thunderstorms rolling through. I wanted to take the boat out, you know, to a lake or somewhere, break the drone out, get some really good shots, but uh, I'm really pressed for time because I, A, I want to get this video out, and B, I have a guy coming tomorrow to buy the boat. So we're just going to have to do it in my garage, unfortunately, but uh, I'll try to go over everything and explain everything I did and show you guys what I, what I built. I'm pretty proud of it. I think it turned out pretty nice. And it's nothing just spectacular, but as far as my first boat build, you know, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. All right, let's check this thing out. Okay, for the rear deck, the floor, and the front deck, I used all exterior grade half inch plywood, and I painted it with two coats of oil-based paint on each side. And in the front deck, I ended up having four hatches, and then I sunk a spot for my trailer motor, the foot control. And in these two middle hatches, the first one is all my battery stuff. I can run in two batteries. One is going to the trailer motor and the depth finder, and the other one is going to the bilge pump and the lights. I have a battery disconnect, and I have six light switches. I went ahead and put three interior lights. That way, if it's real dark in the morning or if you're fishing at night, you'll be able to halfway see what's going on. I also put three lights inside these hatches. This hatch right here is just a storage hatch. I was able to put a Tupperware container in it. Just a good spot to stow tackle, life jackets. I got them poles in there, paddles, stuff like that. And I have one more storage hatch right here. I went ahead and boxed it in with half inch plywood. It was painted. I put a little piece of carpet down there. This would be a good spot to put a small box to put like extra plugs, fuses, and things like that. And this one also has a light in it. Right now, this rope is used for launching the boat. Uh, you can just tie it to the trailer and launch it if you're by yourself. But if I keep it, I'm gonna do a bungee cord just like on my big boat, because that makes it so much easier launching a boat by yourself. And then this other hatch, I have my two bank charger. I'm stowing my anchor light, and then I have my fuse panel. So this is all my wiring stuff. And then I have this little box built right here for the switches and also my plug for my two bank charger. That way I can just pull my boat up and all I gotta do is plug an extension cord right in and it'll charge both batteries. Cup holder, very, very important. Also got another cup holder up here in front of my electronics. And while we're up here, let's go ahead and take a look at that. I end up getting a Garmin. I believe this is a Striker 5. CVU, which CVU I think is the clear view. I really like this fish finder. I'm actually thinking about changing the one in my big boat to this one because I'm having problems out of that hummingbird right now. If there's something really bad wrong with it, I'm gonna get one of these for it. But like I said, you got traditional view, which will be your regular like yellow, blue, and red colors, and then you also have the clear view option, which is really neat, which is not really gonna show up anything because we're not in the water, but it'll actually show you like trees and stuff in the water, not just like an arch or a blob and stuff like that. It's almost, it's kind of like down imaging, but not as precise. Just a lot better look to me. I like it a lot. And the trolling motor is a brand new Minn Kota Edge, 45 pound thrust. I believe it is a 42 inch shaft, just a 12 volt, but I mean, that's all you need or anywhere I'm fishing, it'll, it'll work fine. And then the other end of the boat, we've got a little power plant, the Honda 100, which is a 10 horse Honda. Now this thing is a 1980 or 81 model, I forget. I looked up the serial, the serial code, but it's early 80s 
and it's actually a four stroke. And this thing runs good. It came with the original gas tank. I don't know if you've seen the, the very first video when I bought some of these boats, I showed the, the motor and the gas tank. And this gas tank is so cool. It's a metal gas tank and it says Honda on it. And it's got like a spot on the side where you can put oil and little tool kit and all that's still in good condition. While we're back here, I went ahead and got a brand new 1100 gallon per hour bilge pump and I ran it right behind the transom and kind of run it down a little bit. Uh, I've seen a lot of people will cut them off right here and I, I just don't think that looks good. And of course you could have done through hole, but I just, man, I didn't want to drill another hole out of this transom. Uh, I'm sure if you watch the videos, you see me replace this transom in this boat and it was a pain in the butt, which I've done another transom since then and it wasn't as hard uh, now that I halfway know what I'm doing, but to change a transom and do it right, it's a, it's a, it's a job. Use marine grade epoxy on both sides and then two coats of oil-based paint on both sides and then use off stainless steel boat, bolts and marine grade uh, silicone through every hole. Make it last, hopefully. And up front, I have the navigation lights for LED. I just thought that would be kind of a cool look. All right, the trailer was in pretty good shape. This trailer didn't come with this boat. It came with another boat that I bought. It came with a boat that came with this Honda. And uh, I liked it a lot better than the trailer that this boat came with. And I sanded it down and put a little paint job on it. I had to adjust the guides and also the bunks to make it fit this boat better. I went ahead and put a brand new jack on it and a keel roller. And I went ahead and put this safety chain on it. My big boat has that and I think that's a real great idea that going down the highway and for some reason your strap is to break, it's, your boat isn't gonna slide off. And I also got a new winch strap for it too. And that's about it. I'm sure I forgot a few things, but uh, that's the gist of it. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm happy the way this boat turned out. I had a vision in my head when I decided to do it and it's pretty diggum close to what I was thinking of. Now, if this guy doesn't buy it, there is a couple things that I'd like to change. I'm thinking about putting some kind of side panels I just think it would look a lot cleaner. Um, I did run them wire looms that you probably saw earlier in the video to hide the, the wires that's running to the back for like the bilge pump and the anchor light. And this side doesn't have anything. But I thought if you could just put just two panels up and carpet them and then maybe put some of them plastic rod holders, like three, three on this side and two on that side, I think it would look kind of cool and you know give you a place to put some extra fishing rods. I, was, I mean, I added these, uh, these little cheap bungee ones that you can get from Walmart. I added one in front of the back seat and then one right here. And I used them the other day when I took this boat out. You know, I just put two bait casters in here and uh, they, they work okay, but I wouldn't want to go on a long trip like that. So, uh, if I do another boat, I'm probably gonna to try to do a rod locker on it. Cause I think that's, if you're doing bass fishing, you know, a rod locker is gonna come in handy. Not to mention if you're going out of town to have a rod locker that can actually lock, that can uh, save you a lot of trouble at worrying about somebody stealing the rods out of your boat when you're in a hotel or a cabin or wherever you're staying, sleeping for the night. Yeah, like I said, you know, I'd like to do the bungee cord thing just cause man, that's, that's a sweet way to launch a boat and obviously pick up an anchor for it. I, I really wanted to take it somewhere where I could run it wide open, see what that little Honda would push this boat to and you know, top speed. Uh, it seems to run really good and it seems like it's got a lot of torque. Uh, the day that I took it out was at a no wake lake. So all you can do is just putt around. So I have no idea. I don't feel like this boat is super heavy. Even though I went with plywood, I mean, I can still pick the front of the boat up if it's not attached to the trailer. And the same way with the back, when I loaded it up, it was a little crooked and it wasn't nothing to move it to the side. So uh, if that's one thing in the back of your mind, you know, adding a bunch of weight to a boat by doing the deck, it's, it's not that much, it really isn't. Now, there's a few things that I would have done differently that I will do differently on another boat. Like I mentioned the rod locker. And also if you're planning a boat build and you want to sink your trolling motor, don't put it in the center put it offset to one side. You really want to set your boat up and maybe like slide your deck in before you cut it out. 
and then just stand. Stand on the on the front deck of your boat. When I'm fishing, I use my left foot to control the trolling motor. So if you put it right in the middle, it's gonna shift your whole body to the right side of the boat, which like in my big boat, it really isn't that much of a problem, but it's also 56 inches wide. Now you're talking about this boat right here, it's 20 inches narrower. So if you're shifting your weight to one side or the other, it's gonna kinda make your boat sit a little unlevel in the water. So that's one thing that I would definitely change is instead of having that, when I sunk it, instead of having it directly in the center, I would push it over to this side of the boat probably six inches. And that would get it to where when I'm standing in the boat trolling, it'll stay more even. I definitely on the next build will not be doing wood and carpet. It's gonna be aluminum or I've seen some people use PVC, which is kind of heavy, but I'm just gonna have to see what I can actually get my hands on. And it's gonna be hydro turf. But besides that, I mean, I'm not knocking the boat. I think it turned out good. I like the color of the carpet, even though it's ugly, but it matches the theme of the boat. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm really happy with it. There's just a couple things that I would change but it's nothing major. I have it listed on Marketplace, but not, none of the local channels of Marketplace is just Marketplace. And also Craigslist, and the guy contacted me from Craigslist, and uh, he seems serious. So if he buys it, you know, the price I listed it for, which I'm not making a killing off the boat, uh, if you divided how many hours I have in, I would be in the hole, I imagine. But I'm not losing money on it either. So if he comes and he gives me that, uh, the asking price for it is gone and uh, that'll give me more than enough money to start on the next project which actually my next project is right there uh, I'm gonna try to do it with just one video that's the boat that came with this trailer and the 10 horse Honda and what I'm doing to that boat is just a quick flip uh, I'm not doing no kind of carpet or anything like that I might do a little deck up front just to put a seat but I'm just basically using all the spare parts I have left over from these three boats that I bought and putting them on one boat. And hopefully I can make a little little bit of extra cash on that one too. That being said, this is the boat. Being my first boat, I think it turned out really nice. Uh, I appreciate all you guys that watched. I gained a ton of followers doing this boat. So it's something I'm gonna try to take the momentum and roll with. That's why I started on that boat and I'm filming stuff on it and I already have ideas on another boat. So obviously it's a pretty decent interest of uh, several people on YouTube. So I'm gonna roll with it. I had a lot of fun doing this boat and I'm looking forward to doing some more. But anyways, y'all let me know what you think about my boat, how you think it turned out. I appreciate you guys watching. If this is the first video you're watched on this boat, I've got a whole series on it. I think it's 10 videos total of me starting from this boat from scratch. So if you're interested, check them out and I'll see you guys on the next one.